what does a redundancy effect look like in the classroom and how can we overcome it? Here are three examples. First is to not read information that students are already reading for themselves. Why is this the case? Second, and we see this a lot, is too many words on a slide. I'm going to represent a slide with lots of information on it using these nine crosses here. The green crosses represent irrelevant information or redundant information. And the red crosses, well, they're the core messages that you are trying to get your students to remember by putting a slide up. And the problem with putting up a slide with many, many words on it is this, is that in the worst case, your students will remember mainly the irrelevant or the redundant information. And in the best case scenario, they only partially remember the important messages, the messages that you're trying to get them to remember. And the third and final example of the redundancy effect in the classroom is probably excessive PowerPoint animations. Now, of course, we all want our lessons to be fun and engaging, but the danger is by adding all the bells and whistles, what students end up remembering is the redundant animation and not the important content of the lesson that you really want them to remember. As you can see, we think online teacher CPD should be research-based, practical, value for money, really fun to do. And if this sounds exactly what you want for your staff, then go to the Inner Drive Online Academy now. now.